we doing folks? This is Jim, your product expert with Water Pumps Direct coming to you with another Q&A video. Today we're going to touch on two wire or three wire deep well pumps. A uh, question we get fairly often, uh, can be very confusing if you don't know really what's going on here. Um, these are going to be um, again in deep well pumps, usually on four inch or larger diameter um, pumps. Um, and they'll list be listed in the description field as two or three wire. Now, the confusing part comes in that these pumps, when they include that description of two or three wire, that description does not include the ground wire, that green ground wire that's sticking up over there. And you can see them on both of these diagrams over here. So a two wire pump actually has three wires and a three wire pump actually has four wires. Um, the main difference is on two wire pumps, all the starting components for that pump is built into the pump, which is down in the well. Um, on the three wire pump, all the starting components like the run in or start capacitor, a relay overload, whatever else might be needed, is in a control box that you see over here. And that's installed above ground um, somewhere on top, uh, usually near the electrical box. So if there's a problem with the pump and it's due to one of those components, it's usually a lot, it's gonna, well, it's obviously going to be a lot easier to change it out and, and get that pump going again rather than pulling a pump on a two wire. Now, granted, the two wires usually have a few more bells and whistles included to, to try and uh, help prevent any kind of problems um, on those. They're usually more solid state, um, but sometimes it's more of a preference. A lot of DIYers like to go with the three wire and have that capability. Um, you know, back in the day, you used to have two wire pumps and then it would have the ground wire before you really had the, the day with the with the three prong plugs and all that stuff and you didn't really use a ground, uh, your installer would cut that uh, or snip that ground wire off at the pump and you would never run it. Well, nowadays these pumps really need that ground to operate effectively and efficiently. Um, so if you're replacing an older pump and it only has two or three wires and it's missing the ground, if you're replacing the pump, that wire has to be included and rerun or add it in when you do the installation. So um, hopefully that um, clears up some of the fog regarding that description of two and three wire. Uh, if you have any other questions or any suggestions for other Q&A videos, definitely give me a call, shoot me an email, check out our website, waterpumpsdirect.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and until next time, y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye.